Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hi everybody, Chris Perillo here, and I happen to ask my friends who run the official Microsoft Windows account over on Twitter, that is, at Windows if you care to follow them, what the most commonly asked questions happen to be, at least the questions directed to them by way of Twitter. And let's face it, a lot of you out there are on Twitter, and if not, you you may actually think about getting there because the rest of the world is going that way. Either way, one of the most common questions asked is, how do I change my screen resolution? Believe it or not, it's exceedingly simple. Now, we're not talking about changing the physical size of the screen. However, we may be talking about adjusting the resolution for optimal display. So let's go ahead and right-click the desktop. Now, when I say that, I mean by using the rightmost mouse button. If you tap it, this context menu will pop up can't see it, that's okay. Let me zoom in really close to show you the option we're going for. Screen resolution. Really, that's, that's how you get there. It's so simple in Windows 7. Let's go ahead and select that. I'm going to go zoom out again. Up will pop the change the appearance of your display dialog. And from here, you will have a drop down menu. And you should see a drop down menu showing all the resolutions your screen or screens support. Because of course, you can plug more than one screen or monitor into your PC to have it run multiple displays, as I kind of have connected to this computer. But that's a video for another day. Either way, this is where you change the resolution. Now, keep in mind there's only one resolution for an LCD screen that is optimal. You could go smaller than that resolution, but then everything's going to look blurry. Now, if you don't have many options in this drop-down list or the option for the resolution that you're looking for doesn't show up in this list, chances are you need to find the monitor definition for your well, monitor, your screen, uh, drivers, if you will. And that could likely be located at wherever you happen to uh, buy uh, your computer or your screen, or, I'm sorry, your monitor. The screen sits inside the monitor. Uh, hopefully I'm not, you know, confusing you with all this terminology. Either way, if your monitor is not defined in this dialog, like it doesn't say whatever the brand is, uh, and the resolution that you know you should be able to run in isn't showing up, you will want to go to the manufacturer's website, whoever manufactured your monitor, uh, and then likely download the definitions so that Windows will be able to pick up the native resolution for your screen. And then you could uh, select it here with this slider. I'm just gonna go ahead and zoom in and, and show you here. Uh, I can take this little notch and move it down. There we go. Uh, and, and change the resolution to anything I want. And then once I'm through with that, I can press OK. I could always press Apply without exiting the dialog. Now the nice thing is, if I change the screen resolution of Windows, uh, it will say, hey, is everything okay? And you have a chance to say, okay. Now, if you don't say everything's okay within 15 seconds, it will automatically revert to whatever resolution you were running at before. It's kind of like a, a fail-safe mode so that you won't screw anything up. But be careful uh, because there are cases where you can set the resolution so high, and I haven't really heard this happening all that frequently, uh, that you could actually damage your screen. Again, I haven't heard of that in a long time, so I really wouldn't worry about it as long as you know what resolution you should be running at, the native resolution for your monitor. And that's really all you should have to worry about. I'm sure I'm going to get plenty of feedback here in the YouTube channel, but these are the questions people are asking. I mean, not everybody has this knowledge, so I'm very grateful that uh, Microsoft, at least the, the people running the uh, Microsoft Windows Twitter account, uh, shared with me that list of commonly asked questions so that I might be able to help them and anybody else out there who has questions about technology in general, whether they be about screens or software or digital whatever. It's just what I live. You can follow me on Twitter at Chris Perillo. Of course, you're more than welcome to send along any of your tips too. Chris at Perillo.com is my email address. And of course, I've got a chat room where we are typically talking tech 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.